Once again, we created the dances for Barbie's movie, but this time not for a classic ballet, but for a whole new ballet. And the ballet stars Barbie playing Genevieve, one of the 12 dancing princesses. I think Princess Genevieve is great. She's confident, clever, and she has 11 sisters. Imagine 12 princesses, each one beautiful and independent. Just like me, they all love to dance. One night, the princesses discover a magical secret, a hidden world where the dancing never ends. And that's where their adventure begins. Playing the role as Genevieve in The Twelve Dancing Princesses and bringing Barbie to life through dancing is an unbelievable experience. I am so happy to be doing it. My little niece has been watching the Nutcracker and the Swan Lake Barbie movies and is so excited about them, and she's only two and a half, and so for me to be able to be a part of this process is just great, and I'm very honored to be chosen to do it. Being a principal dancer with a famous ballet company requires passion and hard work. I live in New York City, and I wake up in the morning, and I walk to Lincoln Center for my job. And... Usually, I go to the locker, put on my ballet clothes, and get ready for class, put my hair up, take ballet class in the morning, which is usually an hour and a half, and then if I have to come back later in the afternoon, I usually do some stretching and warm myself up again. Stretching is important because it's very easy to pull a muscle or strain some part of your body if you're not completely stretched before you start a rehearsal. And it's just very important to keep your muscle, the blood flowing and the oxygen going in your muscles. Then after I stretch, I usually get ready to put my feet in my point shoes. And that's kind of a process. I usually have to allow myself about 10 minutes to do that. So I usually take some masking tape and I wrap it around, you know, pretty much every toe just to make sure I don't get any blisters. And then I use paper towel to further put more support and cushioning around my toes, and then I put them in the shoe. And then I go to the rosin box, which is there to help prevent slipping in the studio or on stage. And I usually put it all around the shoe, on the tips and in the back, and just around, just to make sure that I don't fall on the rehearsal. And then I start the rehearsal. You know, we can rehearse anywhere between one to six hours a day. After a long rehearsal day, have two hours before performance to prepare and then we you know put our hair up put the makeup on put any kind of accessories that you have earrings a tiara um, and then we put the costume on and then we kind of go through the same routine of taping your toes putting in the 
rosin and putting on the point shoes to get ready for the performance. We do the performance and then at the end of the day, which is usually around 10.30 at night, usually you're pretty tired by then, so you go to sleep and then you wake up and start the day all over again. Like me, most ballerinas start as little girls and train for many years before they can dance professionally. While I'm originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan, I started taking ballet class when I was five. And the reason I started was because my older sister was taking ballet lessons. And while she was gone at her ballet lessons, I would try on her oversized leotards and tights and shoes and just kind of be dancing around my house. And my mom just thought, you know what, we got to put her into ballet. Being a mouse in the Nutcracker was the very first thing I did on stage. And I remember my best friend was Super Mouse because she was the smallest girl. She was one of the first ones that was killed and I had to drag her off and I couldn't see where I was going because the mask was very dark and I didn't know what I was doing and I grabbed her and we ran right into the wing and both of us like just fell and our legs were up and we were laughing and to this day it brings like really warm memories. As a little girl at age five I never would have thought all my dreams would have come true. I never would have thought that I'd be dancing in one of the best companies in the world as a principal ballet dancer. Ah, that shows. That's good. For Barbie and the 12 Dancing Princesses, we needed to create a totally new ballet. The creation of the dances is called choreography. And the choreography for these dances was created by Peter Martins, world-famous ballet master-in-chief of the New York City Ballet. You can do this. The 12 Dancing Princesses must never be linked to a ballet. The story is endearing and charming. I love the story. It's, again, is one of my... And I told my daughter, so what are you going to do with Mattel now? And I said, 12 Dancing Princesses. <gasps> it's my favorite. It's my favorite. She loves it. I'm producing Maria Kurowski, who was our first Barbie. It's both Nutcracker and the Swan Lake. And uh, Chuck, who was doing Ken. He's just much taller. He's a real romantic prince, in my view. And has a wonderful demeanor. And the two little girls that I'm using are sort of little firecrackers. They can do anything. They're fantastic. Abby and Tyler. I rehearsed for days with my friends Abby and Tyler to get all the steps just right. Well, there are 12 dancing sequences in this movie. And I'm involved in quite a few of them. Um, they're all a little bit different. It's probably the most dancing I've done in one of the Barbie movies. There's one in particular called The Red Shoes, and it's a dance struggle where me and Charles are kind of struggling the whole time, and we're kind of glued together, and he's trying to make me dance, and um, I'm very frustrated because I can't seem to let go of him, and we're stuck together. I have to say, I think my favorite part in the movie is when the cobbler and myself um, discover that we have to open the stone passageway at the same time and we have to go to each stone together and then we start this romantic dance and I think I don't know I'm a sucker for love stories so I don't know I guess that romantic part of it is just very special to me and I like it that's so it. that's my favorite part after we open the portal for this final time Derek and Genevieve are dancing so beautifully so passionately that they magically begin to dance on air stands on air. Uh, you know, the, the people who know this medium understand this be obviously much better than I. At a certain point, we like to see them sort of take off into the air and ascend. And so I try to conceive of a step that might look good at a uh, sort of flying into the air. Bringing Barbie to life in this movie is a very unique process. Um, there are many different steps it takes to bring this to a motion capture. And the first thing is, we come into a rehearsal room and we learn the story. And then after we've choreographed all of that and everything works, then we take it to a studio. It's kind of like a black box with cameras all around. And 
what the dancers have to do is get into the scuba type gear where we have like these reflectors and motion capture sensors all over us, you know, on each part, our knees and our feet and our head and our arms to capture all the movements that we do. And it's pretty interesting little get up. We, um, I remember the first time we were giggling quite a bit and we had to start over a lot because um, we were laughing at how ridiculous we looked. But it was really interesting to see. And even from the second time I did the movie, Swan Lake, the technology had grown so much that they had the computer there and they were able to show us right after we produced something what it was going to look like in animation. And that was unbelievable. I was blown away because I could really tell that it was me dancing. Here, Chuck and I are creating the movements for the romantic dance where we begin to dance on air. is recorded and goes into the computer. Then the animators use my movements to help Barbie dance so beautifully. There are so many things that I think little girls are going to love about this movie. To all the little girls out there that are dreaming of becoming a ballerina princess like I have, it can come true. And if you just follow your hearts and dreams and just know that that's what you want to do, it can become a reality. And I wish all of you out there believe in yourself and make your dreams come true.